This is the Essential PH1. Let's take a look at this upcoming Android phone. The first thing that stands out is the 5.7 inch screen. It takes up the vast majority of the front of the device, except for a little cutout for an eight megapixel front facing camera and a chin bezel. On the back are two cameras at 13 megapixels each. A fingerprint sensor is located on the rear. One thing missing from the phone is branding. There are no logos on this device. The back also has magnetic connectors for accessories similar to some Motorola phones. There's a 360 degree camera that clicks into place. There's also a magnetic dock accessory which wirelessly charges the phone. The phone is made out of titanium and ceramic. Essential says it does not have an area for cases on its site because titanium is more resilient than a lot of other materials. The site features a slow motion drop test video to show the PH1 surviving a fall. Inside, the PH1 runs the same processor that can be found in the North American version of the Galaxy S8, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. There are 128 gigabytes of storage space in the Essential phone. So it looks great, but what's missing? There's no port for a micro SD card to easily add more storage. There's also no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, although an adapter is included in the box. There's no mention about the phone being waterproof on the site. The PH1 comes in four colors, black, gray, white, and dark green. The essential phone can be reserved now, but only in black or white. It costs $699, and if you reserve now, you can pick up the 360 degree camera for an extra 50 bucks for a total of $749. That combo will eventually cost $898. The PH1 will first ship in the US. There is no official release date yet. If you're wondering what on earth Essential is, it's a company started up by Andy Rubin. Rubin built the Android operating system that Google eventually acquired. For more information, check out CNET.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.